Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the Great Sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin, she who was to serve as his shackle, to bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydalin was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long-forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh... They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Assians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Assians know because it is our history, our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac, we natives of that sundered paradise. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world, for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same?
That's a lot to chew. So I've had two mind-blowing events in this last hour and 51 frickin' minutes. <laughs> 